love it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it, now all together a cheer. Hey friends, it's Mark here once again, your one-take beer reviewer, the guy who talks about Chicago's craft beer scene at Bureaunot.com. And yet today I have something that's uh, not quite beer. I mean, I get uh, asked to uh, talk about many other things uh, besides beer, like uh, non-alcoholic beer, um, you know, so fizzy, uh, fizzy uh, seltzer drinks, and now today I've got, I've been sent a box of uh, cocktail in a can, also called Club Tales, and I should be zoomed out to a nice photo of what I got from them, and uh, I've got the can right here, in fact, it's a 24 ounce uh, cocktail in a can, so maybe it's meant for more than one person. This is a 10% can, 10% uh, alcohol by volume can. Now they also sent a few little tchotchkes like uh, like a hat that I have not even tried on yet because um, I don't know. And then they also sent this, which is a uh, which is a uh, an insulator can for uh, beers, but it's only for the uh, very skinny craft seltzers or uh, skinny drinks and so you put this up with the uh, 24 ounce can and uh, oh well it doesn't work I guess so anyway I am sticking with a uh, cocktail in a can version of a drink that I have had many times before they've also got Bahama Mamas and Sex on the Beach neither of which I've really had except perhaps as a uh, shot form and then the screwdriver you know orange juice and vodka but we'll be uh, testing all those later and adding that to the uh, Bureau Nut article I'll be writing about this this is their Sunny Margarita classic lime flavored uh, party starter okay so that's what they say and uh, let's uh, just and yes I do have an, a, a proper glass for the occasion didn't have time to rim it with salt and maybe there's salt already in this let's find out so is this carbonated yes it's a little bit fizzy I just wanted to set it on my knee so I don't drop it or something like that Well, it looks like any uh, canned cocktail margarita. Just setting this off to one side. Well, I mean, and I know a lot of the a lot of the packaged mar you know pre-made margaritas they might have like corn syrup and uh, other stuff to try to make it look like a pre-made mix. But let's see, a nice lime uh, mix to it, and uh, so and a little bit fizzy this time so that kind of is a point in its favor because you know we always like the fizzy stuff some of us <clears throat> yes i'm picking up um mostly the lime and just a little bit of creamy uh taste and so if it's not got actual triple sec in it, it's got uh, something to uh, add to that impression. And, uh, well, I mean, and a little bit of a tequila shot, a little bit of agave to it. Actually, very refreshing because... One reason I picked it up and put it in the fridge is that it's still in the 80s. It is like September 16th, and we're still looking for one more really hot weekend. And then maybe, then maybe we will be getting into the fall around here in the Midwest. So uh, be sure to keep plenty of anything you like in your fridge because you're still going to need it. You know, and of course, you know, this is my usual party to party margarita glass i will try to rim this with some salt uh when i pour some more in here but anyway this is the club tales cocktails it's made by uh it's made by and i'm looking over here at the box geloso beverage and uh, the can also shows the name lacrosse wisconsin in it so it's a canadian company and i think they're making that at um at um the former um Heineken, I mean Heilemann, old style uh, brewery. So anyway, but it's uh, not bad for the summer. And this is Mark, your one take beer reviewer, the guy at beeronot.com with a margarita this time. Now don't be